Hey, uh, welcome to another tutorial from our WordPress Page Builders Academy. Uh, we have an extensive library of tutorials for uh, all the top WordPress page builders. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you, you can see them when they come out. Okay, now on to today's tutorial. Hey, so in this tutorial, we will walk you through how to create a toggle pricing and a table with Elementor. So there are three ways to create a toggle pricing table in the Elementor. Uh, first, you could add it uh, by using a bit of code. Uh, this code is brought to you by the website Element How. They have this little snippets uh, that you can insert and modify into your uh, Elementor page. Uh, so we actually won't go over that method in this video because uh, we want to keep the video short and concise, but you could check it out uh, in the description box below. We'll link to the actual uh, element how uh, website it will also link to web uh, web squadrons video which is a great tutorial on how to implement that code in your elementor site um, second so you could actually achieve a pretty similar results to the toggle pricing button using the tabs element which uh, pretty much every page builder has including elementor and the last method we'll be shown in this video is the easiest way to do it uh, easiest way to create a toggle pricing table. And uh, the way that gives you the most design control is by using a third-party uh, Elementor add-on called Essential Add-ons. Uh, we'll also be shown this method, uh, like I said previously. Okay. So if you want to create the pricing tables ahead of time, uh, you could use uh, templates. So uh, you could create two different templates, one for, let's say, your monthly pricing and one for your quarterly pricing. These two templates are pricing table templates uh, that will later insert these templates uh, into the pricing toggle page, the page where you are doing the page. You will display your toggle pricing uh, page to your website viewers. So to create the pricing table templates, you would just need to go here to template section, create your pricing tables, you would create two templates that will be later inserted into the pricing toggle page. Um, these templates could either be section or container templates. Uh, either one I think is fine. Um, we actually also have a video on how to create a high converting pricing table uh, on this channel and we will link it here in the info card and we'll also put it in the description box below. So make sure to check that out if you want to learn how to create a high converting uh, pricing table in Elementor. Okay, now let's get started. So first we're going to show you how to do a price toggle um, uh, pricing page uh, with the tabs element in Elementor. Hey, we've got a quick favor to ask. If you've made it this far into my tutorial, please smash the like button. It will really help out this channel and these tutorials. Okay, now back to the actual tutorial. Thank you. So this uh, next method for create, creating a toggle pricing table in Elementor is using the essential add-ons toggle element. Before you start, make sure you have uh, the essential add-ons for Elementor plugin installed. Uh, so navigate to your dashboard, uh, go to central add-ons, then go to elements. Uh, so auto deploying this free to top element requires the paid version of the essential add-ons. Uh, the paid version, they have essential, uh, they have various pricing tiers depending on your needs, but the subscription starts under $40 a year for one website. And there's a lifetime membership to you. Uh, there's a lot of uh, cool elements uh, in the central add-ons uh, third-party uh, plugin that are not available in Elementor, uh, even Elementor Pro. So uh, yeah, just uh, check out your website, check out what uh, elements they have and see if it fits your needs. Um, anyway, now I'll go back to the page that you want to add the toggle pricing uh, uh, option.
Uh, once you start your toggle pricing table, preview the page, see how it looks and functions on all screen sizes. There you have it, several ways to uh, add a toggle pricing table to your Elementor website. Okay, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, these videos take a lot of time, so if you do appreciate the content, uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so we can reach more people. Uh, thank you. And if you have any comments or questions, leave in the section below and we will get to them as soon as we can. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye.